The reason I serve is really because I believe very strongly in the concept of home. Um, I grew up in a military family. I lived 13 different places before I turned 15. And then things calmed down a bit and I, I had some long-term homes, but I understand how important it is um, from a stability uh, standpoint to have a home. I think that there are many supportive programs out there for people once they are evicted. And I think one of the things that we do differently that's so important is help people to avoid the eviction process. Um, being evicted or having an eviction on your record is almost like having a criminal record. It becomes very, very difficult for people to um, regain that sort of stability once it's lost. So the story that I resonated with the most was Stephen's story. And that's going back to my childhood and being an, a, a part of the military family. You know, Stephen is someone who, you know, graciously and faithfully served our country and fell upon hard times that were outside of his control. And unfortunately, he didn't qualify for a lot of the programs that are out there to assist our veterans and was just maybe hours or a day away from losing his long-term home. Our, our grants are very small, less than a couple thousand dollars just to keep people off the streets and in their homes long term. And it's proven that they continue to rent and be responsible renters to their property. So anything that you can do to contribute um, financially, um, contribute in terms of sharing stories and, and connecting uh, with the foundation, I would encourage you to do. It's a very rewarding, um, you know, sort of uh, opportunity. Eviction is a very slippery slope. Um, helping to prevent it, getting ahead of eviction, really helps people to, you know, uh, avoid a host of other sort of after effects of eviction.